what's going on in the hydroponic hoop house with the cocoa media and perlite three and two gallon grow pots been in here doing some pruning been in here getting some of the growth off I got a late start this year and I think uh, because of that I pushed a little too much nitrogen calcium nitrate in the master blend I run 55 gallon drum on a drip set on a timer uh, for same amount of time every hour or hour and a half right now getting hot here you can see it kind of got some lush too lush growth at the top I've been in here pruning off some of the bottom I was gonna make this video because uh, I read a thread where someone said they were debating pruning and suckering and people saying I don't do anything to them and it doesn't hurt the yields that's totally wrong Especially if you're growing on a density like this. This is on like 14 inches, which I probably got one too many plants in this row. I'll get by with that by hard pruning, which is everything below the first fruit cluster is gone. As soon as you harvest a trellis, the next fruit cluster, everything below that is taken off. And this will be lower and lean. These are a homemade toma hook or like a, a, a homemade roller. It lets you lower by taking this off of this line letting some line out, drop the plant and lean it. Probably gonna lean them that way first then bend them back around this way. I'll, I'll get about, got about 40 feet of line so I'll probably get one full lean down the front row and then back down. But um, pruning, you definitely gotta prune just for airflow purposes. Uh, suckering, you're gonna get better yields, bigger tomatoes, faster if you're not letting all the side growth come in, all the extra shoots. Now there are plants that you don't want to do that to, which are determinate tomatoes like these. This is this is a baby boomer cherry bush beef steaks. You don't want to prune any of those. You just want to kind of contain them. Um, so you can see here, my growth's kind of gotten out of hand. I think I had too much nitrogen. Another thing is, based on your light source or your intensity, your duration, can only push so much fertilizer with uh, these hydroponic plants I've found because they're not going to use it. Here I get about six hours direct. The rest comes from the east and west filtering through the trees. Um, because of the late start I bumped it up to about 800 after growth came in on the seedlings. I think I got them growing a little too hard but you can see they're, they're putting on nice flowers and they are setting fruit so about the max I'll ever do on them is uh, when they're fully in full swing of fruiting. I'll run it up to about 950. Um, and I just got ahead of myself, but I think I backed it off today. I cut the water uh, back to 750, 700, 750, and I brought the pH up to about 6.2. It was down at 5.7. So try to make it a little more neutral, a little less feed, but definitely you want to prune prune your plants you want to get your suckers out you'll see these are uh, I think these are big beef you'll see, you can see how the the flower structure is going to be tighter you're going to get closer to no internodal length there from you know and if you were in the lot of sun all day you'd be even tighter but you don't want to just, you, you can grow more plants in a tighter space um, with a method like this lowering and leaning them um, so you definitely want to get the suckers out. You want to prune your sides. See, I take the tips off the leaves some as they're starting to grow. But uh, what I'll get is basically a roll of stems that'll go down the front side and come back, and all the shoots and leaves will be off of it, and it'll be like a ribbon of, of stems. And as long as it doesn't frost and our disease sets in, which these are all hybridized, um, I'll be able to grow them into the frost first frost. So I thought I'd just make that video of pruning. Uh, this is, you know, just a drip system. You can see it. Um, but lower and lean hydroponic tomatoes, hard prune, uh, single liter, no suckers on the plant. But it's getting hot here in Georgia. Be mid 90s this week, so we're about to find out what they got. I'm gonna be sucking up a lot of water. So thanks for watching. Any comments? Questions?